Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope your 2023 is starting off great. I'm looking forward to a great year of openings on this channel and sharing them with you and hoping that our luck turns around from uh, the string of uh, not so great pulls that we've had uh, in the past couple videos. Uh, today we're going to take a look at one of the all hollow mystery packs that you can pull off of uh, eBay or purchase off of eBay. Um, but before we get started, I wanted to mention that we do have a giveaway on this video. I do have two of these packs. I have a second one over here. Um, we'll be giving away the second one to one viewer. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed uh, and leave a comment with which product or release coming up in the uh, in 2023 that you're most looking forward to. Uh, be whether you that one of the reprint sets, uh, one of the upcoming booster boxes, etc. Or leave a comment as to what uh, card from this video uh, was your favorite. And, you know, obviously when you get these type of sets, you get to see a lot of variety of cards. Maybe you saw something that was very nostalgic. Um, so let me know uh, in the comments what, you know, you're most looking forward to or uh, what your favorite card was. Um, and then be subscribed and you're interested in the giveaway. We'll announce the winners in the community tab uh, coming up within uh, the next couple of weeks. Now, in the subject of the video, uh, we'll get to that. Uh, if you've been around Yu-Gi-Oh! for any period of time, the chances are you've shopped for cards on eBay and you've probably seen listings uh, with titles that look something like this or this um, or this. Um, and maybe you've bought a few yourself or maybe you've always wondered and never taken the plunge and never purchased one um, whether or not these are worth anything or whether they're uh, worth any cash or whether they're just trash. And today we're going to find out. Uh, that way, if you've always wondered and you, and you never, never actually took that chance, uh, now you'll know. Um, I've purchased these packs. They end up running $25 a piece. Uh, so we'll take note of that and we'll see what we get. Um, but we expect this to be a pretty typical result uh, for the, the average Joe. Uh, there's no connection to my channel. Not that's going to really matter. No one really knows who we are. Um, but there's a hundred cards allegedly in the pack. Um, they're supposed to be all hollows and there's supposed to be at least 35 ultra rares secrets. They've mentioned ultimate rares as well. Uh, so we'll see if any of that shows up as well, but you're supposed to get at least 35 cards that are better than super rares. Um, and they're all supposed to be in mint near mint condition, uh, with no duplicates either. So we'll keep track of that as well and make sure, uh, that that is the case as well. I'll put a valuation up at the end of the video uh, for uh, whatever the total value of any of the cards were, assuming that everything was near mint, uh, even if that is not the case. That way it makes the math easier and we'll uh, confirm also whether or not we did get a hundred cards and how many non-supers, um, you know, or better uh, we did receive. So let's see how close we actually do get in value. To twenty-five dollars, uh, or if we go over, uh, maybe we do get better than that. So who knows? So we'll go through it and we'll uh, take a look and we'll see if these things are worth your cash or if they're just uh, pure trash. So let's get in. We'll uh, start going through it and uh, see what we got. And already right off the bat, we already see our first set of cards. Nothing's protected in here. They just come in a little plastic sleeve. We'll go through them quickly. There's nothing, um, you know, too much. We ain't going to get too in-depth unless we see something spectacular off the top. So we'll just give everyone a quick look as we run through. So we've got Specimen Inspection. This is from Battles of Legend Armageddon. We've got uh, TG Gear Zombie. This looks like it's from Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. We've got Electromagnetic Turtle, which is a secret rare from the uh, Legendary Dex uh, Yugi. Again, it's just a limited edition promo card. In the end, we got Gizmek Yada. So this is a Prismatic Rare uh, out of the uh, 2020 10. Again, secret rare, but not worth anything crazy. So we're all getting, we are getting what we were promised, but we're not getting anything uh, that sticks out as anything too, uh, too valuable yet thus far. We got Melfi Rabbi, uh, out of Legendary Duel Season 1. And then here's kind of uh, what you what you expect to run into. We've got DD Lamia, but it's an ultra rare out of Ghost from the Past 2. So, you know, not a lot of value in a lot of those cards, those ultra rares out of Ghost from the Past 2. 
We got Cosmol, Dark Lady out of Ghost from the Past 1. We got Plunder Patrol Ship. Uh, I mean, again, Ghost from the Past 2, Ultra Rare. Like, these are just bulk Ultra Rares, right? So again, Golden Hair, Ghost from the Past 2. We got another Plunder Patrol Ship from Ghost from the Past 2. Another Plunder Patrol Ship, right? Like, there's no, no value in these Ultra Rares. So then we got Fury of Kairiyu Shin. We're back into Legendary Duelist Season 1. Again, probably not worth a lot of value here. We got a blue. I don't know if we can see that. I can see it on the camera, but it's a blue Ultra from Legendary Duelist Season 1. Again, Heavy Metal Raiders. Witchcrafter Golem Aruru. This card might have value. It's out of 2020-10. Witchcrafters do see a bit of play, so there might be some value in Witchcrafter cards. I'd have to check that. I uh, don't know for sure. Same thing with Witchcrafter Patore, uh, also out of the 2020-10. Could be some decent there. Don't know if it's going to be anything too extravagantly expensive, though. Um, not going to probably make a huge dent in the $25. We got White Mirror from Brother of Legend. Um, so Brothers of Legend, again, just it's bulk ultra at that point. I mean, that's set where every single card was ultras. Uh, so everything's basically, you know, you're getting just junk, junk bulk, right? Numbers protection, again, Brothers of Legend. We got Valkyrie Secta, Sexta, whatever, uh, however you pronounce that, from the 2010 not value there. Dr. D from Brothers of Legend. Again, Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon, Legendary Duel Season 1. We got Reaper Scythe from, uh, what is this, Dragons of Legend. Metamorph Fortress from, what is this, Movie Pack Dark Side of Dimensions. And then we got, you can't see that as well, but that's new number C1000. It's going to be from Maximum Gold, El Dorado. All right. We got Metal Hold from the Dark Dimension pack as well. We got Cosmo Town from Maximum Gold 1. We've got Abomination Prison from the 2020-10. We've got the Deal of Destiny from Brother of Legend. We got a duplicate of Ruru, so we weren't supposed to get any duplicates. It's our first duplicate. We've got Gold Moon Coin from Battle's Legend Hero Revenge. We've got a premium gold from uh, Premium Gold Infinite, or, you know, that's unique. You don't see that as much, but nothing, nothing sticking out super value-wise there either. We got Insector from Brothers of Legend again. And then, oops, we almost knocked the camera over there. Would have been a great start to the 2023, right? I think we just got visited by a cat, too, in the background of her bell. We got Golden Sword Soul. It's from Albaz Strike. Structure deck, Ice Mirror from Brothers of Legend. We got Springin's Kit, which is from Albest Strike. Full Force Virus is from, uh, what was that? Legendary Collection Kaiba. Tri Brigade Mercurier is from Albest Strike and is definitely not in mint condition. I don't know if we can see that there. Maybe we could put it against another card like that. So definitely not all in near mint or mint condition. We got a uh, Spirit Sculptor. Is that from Rising Rampage? Ryra. Broken Line. That's a good variety card right here. That's what you come to see, but Circuit Break. It's unlimited too. So it's not even worth any litmus doom ritual. Again, Battles of Legend, Relentless Revenge, not sticking out as anything crazy. Tenyi Spirit of Shuna might be 
Might be a 50 cent card. It goes from the past two. We got Castle of Dragon Souls from Legendary Collection Kaiba. Now we're down into the super rares. So, I mean, maybe there's some few super rares in here that are going to be worth something. Turny code is AI contact. We got Karibolt from Number Hunters. Geonator Transverser. Oh, I mean, this is super rares from the uh, 2021 10. These are all going to be garbage. We got CXYZ McKipped Dragon from Number Hunters. We got Gaga Ga Gardna. Actually, that might not be bad. It's a pretty decent effect card. Gravity Controller from the 2021 10. Hippo Shinigan from Cybernetic Horizon. We got Dark Highlander, which was a promo card from the 2012 10. Maybe? I don't know. Fiendish Portraits from 2021 10. We got Vampire Grimson, which is from Dark Saviors. We got X Saber Axel from, what is that, Hidden Arsenal 1. We got Adam Emancipator from the 2021 10. Fairytale Luna from Maximum Crisis. Macker. We got number 47, Nightmare Shark. Could be decent. It's a good promo card in the end. Might be close to a dollar. Who knows? We got another 2021 Super or Mega Pack card, which is from the 2020 10. So those are all basically garbage. We got Shadows of Valhalla for Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo. Not going to be worth anything. Nothing. Nothing's going to cut into the uh, into the uh, value, not into the $25 too much. Chronomaly, Warning Point, we got Advanced Dark, which just got reprinted again in uh, Crystal Beasts. Go, 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 Gollum. It's not going to be worth anything. Too crazy. Titan again, 2021, 10. Uh, Fortune Chariot. We got Go 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 Giant. Heavy Forward is from the 2021 10. All the 2021 10 super rares are worth, you know, maybe, you know, on a generous day, five cents. Subaba Knight. We've got Infernoble Arms. We skipped over one. Mermail Abyss Lead. Heroic Challenger. We've got Super Heavy Samurai. 21, I mean, again, it's just 2021 tens left and right for these super rares. I mean, I'm obviously not expecting to get a lot of value out of those. We got Trap Tricks. Oops. We got Priestess with Eyes of Blue. Might be decent, uh, you know, in terms of like, you know, a standalone value, but not going to not gonna make any cut at this point into the value. I mean, the ultra rares are not, weren't there. To, to cut in and now we're relying on super rares to to get us to the value um rocket arrow express from number hunters i mean number hunters is not going to bring us in you know enough we, we don't have any dollar cards in the super rares to, to cut us through up there worm ugly chronomaly aztec mass golem captain roland from the 21 20 in I mean, talking cards are barely worth the paper they're printed on. Egghead might be worth 50 cents on a good day. Super Heavy Samurai, uh, Musashi, Pandora, Dark Saviors. We've got the Secret Forces, Ritual Beast Bond. We got Kayubi Shinshin from 2021-10. I mean, again, it's a lot of 2021-10 stuff, which is going to be bulk uh, supers, Secret Forces supers again. I mean, Shiny Black Sea, Dust Flame from Hidden Arsenal 6, Secret Forces, Stained Greaves here from 2021-10. We've got Summoner of Illusions from Fusion Enforcers. Interesting inclusion. Some good variety. I, I can't fault that. Thunderhand, 2021-10. Double-edged sword technique from is that Spirit Warriors. And then we've got Aqua Story Urashima from Dragons of Legend 2. 
and then we end with a you know fittingly with a 2021 10 card so you know you see we got we did get a lot of ultra rares we got a lot of you know we got four or five secrets you know but in this entire stack you know we we and we did have a couple you know premium golds which is everyone's least favorite rarity so we'll go through you know i'll put a value here um as to like you know over over here somewhere uh as to the total value of all of this but you saw there was a lot of you know ghosts from the past two ultra rares so that's just bulk ultra rares um brothers of legend which is bulk ultra rares um and then you had everything from 2021 10 in terms of super rares that's just junk super rare bulk um and then you had a lot of these same sets in this one you know the variety was not high it was secret forces we had a lot of um if you were going through paying attention as we were i saw secret forces a handful of times saw number hunters a lot um didn't really pay attention to much else but i did see those two quite a bit and then obviously the 2020 and 10 you know that's that's going to hurt any value overall um just with seeing those a bunch you know my guess is we're going to end up being well short of uh 25 dollars um, there's a chance that in that first batch of ultra rares, those, those witchcrafter cards are going to be uh, going to be the odd, the odd ones out here, wherever they are. Um, witchcrafter Patore, witchcrafter uh, Aruru. I do not know how much they run for, um, but they do see a little bit of play. They're very useful cards. Um, but when you get stuff out of structure decks as your ultra hairs, that's not worth anything. So um, the best thing, I think, when you get a cards like this is that if you catch something that's just recently been banned before it's been put in the pack, so it's not worth anything, and it comes off the ban list, uh, then you might get something that ends up being individual card-wise uh, worth a good chunk. So I appreciate you guys stopping in. Be sure to enter the giveaway, and we'll see you all in the next video. You guys take care.